What if I told you the entire video you just watched wasn't filmed, it was created by AI? Every scene, every character, every moment. And today I'm pulling back the curtain. I'll take you behind the scenes of this exact project and show you step by step how to use AI to not only create a story, but actually bring it to life with consistent characters. And here's the twist. At the end of this tutorial, I'm giving away three pro plans of the same AI tool I used. So if you skip even a second, you might miss your chance. Let's get started. So, for creating the story or movie script, we are using ChatGPT. Open ChatGPT and type this prompt. Write a dark, epic, medieval fantasy story with castles, snow, war, intrigue, love, and betrayal. Keep it emotional, cinematic, and medium length. Then hit enter. You can also type any other idea you want to turn into a movie. In just a few moments, ChatGPT will provide the full script. Preview it, and then copy the whole script. The tool we are using is called Magic Light AI. With this tool, you can create a complete AI movie or even a 3D cartoon, basically anything, just from your text. You can find the website link in my description box or in the pinned comment as well. It's truly a game changer. So, here is the most exciting part. Watch till the end because every step is very important for AI movie creation. On the left side panel, you will see two options, story to movie and AI character. Since we are going to create an AI movie, simply click create from this panel. After navigating to this page, you'll see the control panel. There are mainly two options for image or video creation. The first is smart script, where the AI automatically generates a script for you or lets you choose a pre-made one. The second is basic script, where you can enter your own custom script. Here is the video duration chooser. You can even create videos up to 50 minutes long. Huge, right? But for YouTube, I recommend making videos around 10 to 12 minutes, which is perfect for content and easy to monetize. Notice the right side? You'll see lots of people making videos with Magic Light and uploading them on YouTube. You can even check their scripts and use them too. Those are the pre-made scripts. But for now, let's go to basic script and simply paste the script we copied from ChatGPT. From the left panel, select the aspect ratio. If you want to create a shorts video, choose 9-16. Since I'm creating an AI cinematic movie, I'm going with 16-9. Next, choose the video language. There are several options. I'm selecting English. Now, lastly, choose the video style. There are lots of options like 3D Cartoon, Pixar, Disney, Epic, Realistic, Animal, Ghibli, and more. All of them work great for video generation. Just pick the style you want for your video. I'm choosing Epic Style because I'm creating a cinematic movie. Now simply click Next. Here, look carefully. The AI has generated the script into scenes and we have 21 shots, but some parts need customization. For example, in one scene, you might see a comma at the end, and the next is just a short text. This could create a useless shot. To fix it, click on the text, and then click the arrow to adjust it. Simple, right? Do this for any broken shot or scene text. You can even rewrite or delete any shot you want. It's all up to your creativity. And finally, here are the last 18 shots. Once everything is confirmed, click on Next and just wait for a minute. And here is the most important part of our movie creation, the consistent character. From our script, AI automatically detects six characters, and here are the character details and names. To ensure a consistent character, just click on a character, and here is the character library. To create your own character, click on Create, then simply input the character details. You can even generate character details using ChatGPT, or you can upload a character directly from here. All right, now let's have some fun with a pre-made character. There's a huge library to explore, and you can search by age, gender, type, and more. Pick the character that perfectly fits your visual and do the same for all the AI-generated characters. Don't worry, you can always delete or tweak any character. Remember, this is your world, your story, your creativity. And here's the most exciting part. All the characters will stay consistent, so you don't have to worry about anything. You can generate your own custom characters or use the pre-made characters, just like I'm doing. And you can also create custom characters, adding all the details, names, and even voices, just like I'm doing. Okay guys, after setting up the character section, it's time to move on to the next step. Just click on Next and wait for a minute. And here it is. All the shot images have been generated. Let's take a look at them. 
If you don't like any image, you can regenerate it or customize anything you want to edit. You can even control the character's actions. All of this you can do easily with Magic Light. Looks like all the images have been generated perfectly, clean and professional. Now it's time to animate those images. To animate those images, click on Animate from here. You'll see several image to video animation tools like Magic Light, Hiluo, Kling, Sea Dance, and their versions. To animate all images at once, just click Animate All, then select All and click Next, then select the animation tool you want to use. I'm choosing Kling 2.1 here. Then, simply click Confirm, and the video generation process will start. Just wait a few minutes, and your animation will be ready. And here it is. The animation is ready. Let's watch some of the generated scenes. Look at that. They're looking so cool, clear, and professional, right? After I finish my editing, it's going to look like a cinematic movie, even more professional than the current version. And here's another clip that's been generated. Now, let me show you one magic trick. Click on the storyboard from the right panel. There are tons of movements to choose from. Just pick the one you like to animate. You can animate using the storyboard in two steps. First image, then image to video. Look, I'm choosing one now. It will take a few moments to load, and once it's ready, just click animate. After a few moments, your animation will be ready. One important thing to remember, choose a storyboard that matches your visual and characters. Otherwise, it won't work perfectly. So you can edit the on-screen character, the storyboard, the images, or even the generated video itself. Everything here is your creativity. You can also change the voiceover or add sound effects. And once you're satisfied with your generated visuals and shots, simply click Next from the top right corner. And here's the editing part of Magic Light. From here, you can add headers with different styles and subtitles with various styles too. Just choose what suits your video best. You can also add background music and it's copyright free, so feel free to use it. If you don't want something, just click None. Once everything is ready, click Generate. Then, select the video aspect ratio and resolution and click OK. The final video generation will start. Just wait a minute and your video will be ready. And here it is. Walk the corridors, draped in velvet, her green eyes hiding storms of ambition. Though betrothed to Prince Kalen of Draymar to secure an alliance, her heart secretly belonged to her childhood companion. It's cool, right? You can easily download it from here. You can download the video and also the images. So, I'm downloading both from here. Now comes the most important part of creating our cinematic movie, so watch closely. I'm using CapCut for the final edit. First, drag the video into the timeline and split it into separate shots. Below, you'll also see our main voiceover file in MP3 format. Next, go to the Transitions menu, choose Overlay, and select Black Fade. Drag it into the middle of your clip, just like I'm doing here. This simple step adds a dramatic cinematic feel to your sequence. If you'd like a full detailed tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll create a dedicated video for you. For background sound effects, I recommend using Pixabay. You'll find a huge library of professional sound effects that can instantly give your video a cinematic vibe. To find the perfect ones, you can even use ChatGPT for name suggestions. Simply search for the sound effect you need, listen to the previews, and download them to your device. Then, drag them into your CapCut timeline, just like I'm showing here. One important tip, make sure to lower the dB level so the sound effects don't overpower or interfere with your main voice track. Lastly, go to the Captions tab and generate auto captions if you didn't already select captions from Magic Light. In just a moment, the captions will be automatically created for your video. And here are the captions, ready to go. Now, head over to the Templates section on the right panel and choose a style that best matches your video's visuals. You can also customize the font, text color, add stroke, or even glow effects. This makes your captions look much more polished and professional. And finally, place the captions in the right position so they don't interrupt the visuals. Once everything looks good, hit export. Be sure to export in 4K resolution for the best quality. After a few moments, your finished video will be saved directly to your device. So before we move on to the final video preview, let's quickly talk about the giveaway and Magic Light AI's pricing plans. 
Magic Light offers three different plans, so you can choose the one that suits you best. You can also try it out for free, since it gives some starting credits to new users. Now for the giveaway. Anyone who leaves a comment below will be entered into a lucky draw, and three winners will each receive a free standard plan. So don't miss your chance, drop a comment to participate. And now, let's take a look at the final preview. The kingdom of Vandrol lay blanketed in snow, its castles carved from ancient stone. King Alaric ruled from Stormhold, but whispers of betrayal haunted every hall. His daughter, Lady Seraphine, famed for her beauty and cunning, was betrothed to Prince Caelan. Though her heart belonged to Sir Edrin, her childhood companion, war came from the north. The Wraithclaw horde swept villages with fire and axe. Seraphine rode with the army, a symbol of hope, while Edrin fought with a fury born of love. Amid the chaos, Seraphine discovered Caelan's secret he had allied with the horde to overthrow Vendril. In Frostkeep's ruins, she confronted him, but Edrin arrived in time. Steel clashed, and Caelan fell, but not before Seraphine was mortally wounded. With her last breath, she whispered her love for Edrin. King Alaric rebuilt Vindril stronger than before. Edrin, haunted and hollow, rode into exile, carrying her memory forever, a reminder that love and betrayal often march hand in hand. Her words cut to the battlefield again, a monstrous roar shakes the sky. Tonight we fight for the realm. The clash is brutal. Steel rings against steel. Spark Kael, covered in mud and blood drops to his knees as flames consume the world around him. His soldiers fall one by one, but he forces himself to rise, lifting his sword defiantly toward the beast.